Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You are very welcome here indeed. So you may remember a while ago, I did a multivitamin head to head comparison video with Athletic Greens, the doctor's best multivitamin, a Brad Stanfield's microvitamin. At the end of that video, I asked if there were any other multivitamins that people took that they thought were at least as good as the multivitamins I just covered for both active compounds and more importantly, for price. I had quite a few responses offering many, many alternatives. And having looked at each of them in turn, I think the one that came out on top was Life Extension's two a day multivitamin. And as I'm now seriously looking into starting to take a multivitamin, following advice I've seen given by Thomas DeLauer, Rhonda Patrick, and Gary Brecker, to name just a few, I thought it would be useful to conduct another comparison, this time including Life Extension, to see which one comes out on top with regard to compounds and the quantity of those compounds, and more importantly to the vast majority of us, which one would be the most cost effective. I will, as before, use the recommended daily or dietary allowance, RDA, or the recommended daily or dietary intake, RDI, as the standard. Now, if you didn't watch the last comparison video, I did explain that the compounds on supplement facts labels, more often than not, record the RDA or the RDI as daily value, which they then abbreviate to DV. I did this because most people, including me, will understand the percentages more easily than trying to work out what the body requires with regard to milligrams, micrograms, or scoops. Now, although I'm using the RDA or the RDI as a standard, there are some things we need to know because using this as the standard does come with some specific issues. So the recommended daily allowance or intake refers to the average amount of a given nutrient that will sufficiently meet the nutritional requirements of between 97 and 98% of the population. Also know that the RDA does not define the levels of nutrients required for optimal health, but only for sufficient health. So that's the first question you have to ask yourself. Do you want to be in the sufficient or do you want to be in the optimal group? Also, RDAs estimate nutritional levels for healthy individuals. In many cases, the RDA is not sufficient for people dealing with chronic illnesses and or nutrient deficiencies. A sobering fact is that nearly 150 million Americans live with at least one chronic condition and around 100 million of those have more than one. And I'm sure this is probably true when it comes to percentages of the population in other Western countries too. So it could be that taking a supplement that offers over 100% of the recommended daily allowance may still not get you into the optimal range. That's enough waffling off me. Let's jump in and look at the multivitamin comparisons. So this is the breakdown of the three products. You've got Brad Stanfield's on the left, Life Extension is in the center, and Doctor's Best is on the right. I've also listed what each of these products contains with regard to the compounds, and there are 25 compounds in total, and all 25 of these have a measurable recommended daily or dietary intake. And there are 12 compounds in the table below that, shaded in gray. These compounds do not have an established recommended daily allowance, dietary allowance, daily intake, daily value, etc. They're just there for you to look at as a reference, but I shall not include them in the comparison. Now, that's just a massive numbers. So for ease of comparison, I've sectioned them. And a very good friend of mine who did watch the last comparison video said the color coding was slightly confusing to him. And could I go for something similar to a traffic light system? So he asked, here it is. So what do all these colors mean? Products that do not contain any of the 25 elements are in red. As a standard, arbitrary as it is, because it's just for me, I would want my multivitamin to give me more than 50% of the RDA or the RDI. So any compound that has 51% or less of the recommended daily allowance is colored in amber or yellow. Anything between 51% and 100 is in bright green. Anything in dull green exceeds the recommended daily allowance. Remember that the RDA or the RDI only gives you enough for sufficient quantities as this is for me, I don't mind getting in excess of that, which I'm hoping will push me into the optimal range. So the second question or decision for you is, you now have to decide if you're comfortable with compounds in your product exceeding the RDA, or indeed, if you're happy that the compound supplies less than 50% of the RDA. For example, sodium, Brad's gives you 1%, Doctor's Best and Life Extension gives you zero. And is 1% really necessary or even beneficial? 
or is it there just to add another line item? So of the 25 compounds, let's look at what is missing. That's the ones that are coded in red. Brad's multivitamin has five of the 25 that are absent. Life Extension has six of the 25 which are not present. And Doctor's Best only has two that are not present. So for this, I think Doctor's Best comes out on top. So moving on, let's look at the multivitamins that have more than 50%. So 51% or above the recommended daily allowance. That's coded in yellow. Brad's multivitamin has 17 that don't offer more than 51%. Life Extension has just one that doesn't offer more than 51%. And Doctor's Best has five that don't offer more than 51%. So here, I think Life Extension is the one that comes out on top. Now, you do have some control over these compounds in that to get these specific amounts for Brad's multivitamin, you need to take five capsules a day. Life Extension requires you to take two a day and Doctor's Best requires you to take three capsules per day. So you could look at reducing those quantities by not taking as many capsules so you can be more aligned with your nutrient intake from your diet. So let's now move on to the cost of these multivitamins. I'm going to leave this color coded table up. I think it's a lot easier to look at the colors and then decide whether or not the multivitamin you're taking or you're thinking about taking is indeed cost effective. Now, although you do need to take three capsules for Doctor's Best and you've got to take five for Brand's multivitamin and you just need to take two for Life Extension, when it comes to comparison, the good thing is that they all sell them in a one month package. So I'm now going to cover what it would cost you per month to buy that particular multivitamin. So for Brad, it's going to cost you 49 US dollars per month. Life extension for one month will cost you $10.69, but they do offer a 120 count bottle for $19.13. That then drops down to $9.57 per month. And Doctor's Best is going to cost you $30.99. Let's just call that 31 bucks. So life extension is $39.43 cheaper than Brad's multivitamin and $21.43 cheaper than Doctor's Best. You can pause the video now and check out the price of the life extension multivitamin because when you first compare these and you look at the contents of the price, it does actually sound a little bit unbelievable. So looking at the color coding, and I'm looking for a supplement with the highest number of bright and dark green. Life Extension has 18 elements that are green in color. Doctor's Best also has 18 elements that are green in color. And Brad's only has three. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Let me know what you think of my multivitamin head to head analysis in the comment section below. I'd also be interested to see if anyone does take either Brad's multivitamin life extension, or indeed the doctor's best multivitamin. And now having seen the comparison of the compounds and the quantities related to RDA, RDI or DV, and then comparing that to the cost of the other products, if you do take one of these, do you think you may be purchasing a different brand in the near future? I'd be interested to see what you say in the comment section below. As I said earlier, I am seriously considering taking a multivitamin as there seems to be a growing body of evidence that multivitamins may be beneficial if perhaps you're feeling a bit under the weather or indeed you're dieting and or fasting and may not be getting all the nutrients you require from your diet. As you may know, if you follow the channel, I'm now OMAD, one meal a day, three or four days a week. And for the remaining days, I'm fasting to the 16-8 protocol. That said, because I'm doing OMAD, I'm finding it easier to push past 16.8 and instead of eating at noon, I'm pushing that now to two, three, sometimes four o'clock in the afternoon on my non OMAD day. So a multivitamin may be a wise move for me. So which one would I buy? And remember, there is more than one way to skin a cat, meaning there are other standards that you can use to decide which one comes first, second or third, and not just as I have used the RDA, RDI or DV. But going by this analysis, I'm going to plump for life extension and I've already checked is available here in the Philippines. For compounds and quantities, it pretty much matches Doctor's Best and it blows Brad's out of the water. For cost, it's $21 a month cheaper than Doctor's Best and a massive $40 a month cheaper than Brad Stanfield's multivitamin. And I also received this very interesting comment on my last multivitamin comparison video. 
You can see here in his last sentence, Jacques talks about Brad's mix taking on water and puffing out. That's if you take it out of the bottle and put it into a pill organizer. This may or may not be a deal breaker for you if the hefty price hasn't already put you off. Maybe Jack lives in a particular type of climate that causes it, so high humidity. Or maybe his storage method isn't helping the situation either. I'm sure if Brad knows about this, he's already addressing it with his supplier. If he doesn't know, and you too buy his product and have seen the same issue, maybe think about sending him an email so he can start to address it straight away. So sticking with price, interestingly, you can actually buy both Doctor's Best and Life Extension and still save $8.44 when you compare it to buying one bottle of Brad's multivitamin. Or with the $40 a month you save by buying Life Extension, you could buy whatever other supplements you need to fill any gaps you've got in your monthly nutritional requirement. Maybe you'll like the brands includes TMG, trimethylglycine, and hyaluronic acid. That extra $40 would definitely cover those two separate compounds, and I'm guessing much more to boot. So I do use a pill organizer, well, four in fact. You can see I filled it this morning, so I'm good to go now for the next month. It takes me between 10 and 15 minutes to fill it. But as I shan't be buying Brad's multivitamin, puffing out is not going to be a problem for me. When I do pull the trigger on a multivitamin, it will be life extension, unless someone offers an even better multivitamin in the comment section of this video. And if they do, then I'll do another head to head video. So of the three that I've covered today, which multivitamin would you prefer to buy?